Hello, I am Abdelnour Bolsnam from Kassatin 3 University in Algeria. Happy to present my paper called A New Stichanography Technique Based on Dotted Arabic Letters Features. Firstly, we will start by presenting a general introduction about steganography. After that, we will move to explain the problem statement. Next, we will present our proposed approach and some experimental results. Finally, we finish by conclusion and give some future perspectives. Since the rise of the internet, one of the most important facts of information technology and communication has been the security of information. Cryptography was created for securing the secrecy of communication. Unfortunately, it is not a knife to keep the content of a message secret. It may be necessary to keep the existence of the message secret. This technique is called the stichanography. Stichanography is a Greek word which is made up of two words, stichanu and graphy. Stichanu means hidden and graphy means writing. In another meaning, stichanography means hidden writing. Stichanography is a way to hide the fact that data communication is taking place, while cryptography converts the secret message in other than human readable form. But this technique is having a limitation that the encrypted message is visible to everyone. In steganography information, in steganography, information can be hidden in carriers such as images, audio files, text files, video, or data transmissions. Steganography find their existence over a long time ago. In past ages, Greek, uh, histios used to tattoo the secret message over the skull of the slave. And when the hairs were growing again, the slave used to dispatch it for the destination. Or so, around uh, 4018 BC, uh, Demerstos used a wooden walk sublet to hide the message. In the process of his technique, the secret message was writing on the wood after taking off the wax and then covered the wood again with fresh wax. Nowadays, steganography is used in telemedicine, military, electronic commerce, financial transaction and other applications for well-assured, secure transmissions of multimedia data and information. For example, in military and intelligence agencies, steganography is more effective because they require an obstructive communication mode. Or so, in medicine, where it is of crucial importance that a patient, that a patient can control who will use his confidential health information. By another side, the hidden information may contain the copyright owner and the terms of license. Therefore, steganography can be used for copyright protection. So, in this work, we intensify our focus to create new steganography algorithm based on Arabic cover text, where the main goal is to prevent the third party from being able to discover the hidden the hidden information inside the transmitted data. The proposed technique should take into consideration three aspects, which are capacity, which represents the amount of data that can be hidden without changing the cover text, and robustness, that represents the resistance for possible modification or distraction in unseen data. And finally, security, where the hidden process should be performing in a way that it does not raise any suspicion of attackers. Thanks to the variety of features and richness of the Arabic language, several techniques have been proposed in the literature to hide important information containing sensitive items. Some features of the Arabic language do not match to other languages like English. For example, the shape of each Arabic character is different depending on its position in the world. Also, the Arabic language is characterized by many dotted letters, with some having one dot on top or bottom of a letter, and others with two or three dots on top of a letter. 
there exists additional marks positioned on the top or bottom of the Arabic letters called diacritics or harakat, as it's known in Arabic. Keshita or Tatawil is another Arabic language feature which does not affect the meaning of the words used between letters. Use it between letters to justify and decorate Arabic text and make it more suitable. In this context, our proposed idea consists consist of uh, developing a new hybrid Arabic steganography approach based mainly on several features of pointed Arabic letters. As shown in this table, the number and for the first time in the literature, the position of points in Arabic letters are two key elements that are cleverly combined together to create our algorithm that is robust in terms of capacity and security. For more clarity, we adopt the use of, of the Kishida extension characters in our new model for hidden secret data. From this and based on the fe features of the number and the position of points in Arabic letters, we maximize the length of the embedded secret data by suggesting new secret bit patterns as shown here. And hence, the existence of Kishida extension character between letters may hide three bits rather than one bit of secret information. In order to better understand the working of the proposed technique, we suggest an example of using the proposed steganography algorithm, where the objective is to embedding a given secret bit into a, a given cover text. The secret bit will be embedded into the following Arabic cover text, that will be taken from right to left. As we note, the first letter is the letter Alif which is letter that does not accept Kashida, so it will be ignored. The second letter is the letter Ain, and it accepts Kashida. This letter does not contain any point, and hence, according to, to our proposed pattern bits, it can only hide the bit sequence 001. However, in our case, the first three bits of the secret data are equal to 000. Therefore, we will only embed the first zero bits in this position. The same thing happened to the next letter lem, where we add uh, a zero because we don't have uh, a series of zero, zero, 001. The algorithm goes to the next character lem, which represents the ending letter of the current word, and so it will be skipped. Up to this point, we have only hidden the first two bits, 00, zero of the secret data. The next character in the second word of the cover text is Elif, so it will, be, it will be ignored. After that, the algorithm moves to the next letter LAM, and here no 001 pattern is requested. So we use this, uh, this position again to hide another zero bit. The next letter is Nun, which accepts Kishida, and according to the proposed secret bit pattern, this character can only unbeat the bit sequence 010. Consequently, we will only hide the zero bits in this position too. A bit in now, we successfully unbeat four bits of the secret data. The next three bits to be hidden are 010 while the next letter is fair. In this case, we the embedding algorithm picks up the next three secret bits, 0, 1, 0, instead of one bit. In the same manner, the proposed embedding algorithm deal with the rest of the secret bits. In order to evaluate the performance of our proposed technique, several web pages containing text were selected and used it as a cover text files of various size for hidden secret data. The capacity is one key metric to analyze the performance by calcul calculating the size of the secret data that can be embedded in the cover object. It can be measured by the capacity ratio, which is computed by dividing the amount of hidden bytes over the size of cover text media in bytes. 
The following table shows the capacity ratio of the proposed Tigano graphene metal. From this result, we can see that the capacity performance of our proposed technique is not related to the size of the cover text as confirmed, as confirmed by comparing the ratio between the web page number 5 and number 7. However, it is mainly related to the number of letters that accept Kishida extension beside the pointed letters. For more analysis, we can see from this figure the superiority of our proposed technique comparing to other steganography methods concerning the amount of hidden bytes. By another side, we compare the average capacity ratio of our proposed technique to other dotted based approaches from the literature. As shown in this table, the obtained results clearly indicate that the proposed technique has a superior performance in terms of capacity efficiency. In conclusion, for the first time in the literature, the position of points in Arabic letters is extremely combined with other Arabic text features, including the Kishida extension and the pointed letters to create new steganography models. The proposed idea may hide three, three bits rather than one bit of secret information and hence offers more capacity. Besides, it, it ensures higher security for the user because it does not violate the Arabic text and it also guarantees stronger robustness because it's not affected much by external factors. For future works, this new idea of using the position of points in Arabic letters could be combined with other Arabic features and could be applied to include other Oriental languages that have characteristics similar to the Arabic language like Persian and Urdu. I hope I was clear. Thank you for your attention.